Well, you asked for it. VI Multi Outs in Luna. Yeah, baby! <laughs> Hi, I hope that you're well, or if you're new, thanks for checking out the channel. I'm Matt from Distance Sun Studios, and not only is Multi Outs here, but in typical UA style, it's effortless to use. Throughout the video, I'll be adding in some extra Luna tips and tricks, so watch out for those. Enough said. Let's go. So, to get us started, I'll create a blank session in Luna, and now as normal, I click the plus track button and scroll down to select instrument. If you want to quickly load up your own default virtual instrument, the shortcut is Command Shift I. So looking at the options, the type is instrument, I need one track, the format's going to be in stereo, and I'm going to call this Stereo Drums. So the instrument is going to be Superior Drummer 3, and I also do want to add the Studer tape and the API Vision channel strip. OK. So Superior Drummer has automatically opened up for me, and I'm using Al Schmidt's Ballroom Swing Dry preset from his Decades Expansion Pack, and that sounds like this. And it's worth mentioning that everything you will need for VI Multi Outs, including all the required routing, is right here so you'll never need to leave this window. Really cool. At the moment you can see the stereo drums track that I've just created coming out from outputs 1 and 2 within Superior Drummer. I've already dropped some MIDI on the drum track in Luna. When I play back, I can adjust the volume, solo and mute. So once I've added the multi-out tracks, I can create a rough balance right here. Now, if I move to the mixer view in Superior Drummer, you can see that all of the drum microphones are assigned to OUT 1 and 2. So, I'll now route the individual drum microphones to their own output. The kick drum I'll leave in OUT 1 and 2. The snare top I'm going to select OUT 3 and 4. The snare bottom I'm going to send to 5 and 6. The hi-hat I'm going to send to 7 and 8. There aren't any toms in the drum pattern, so I'm going to select them together using the shift key and I'm going to give them no output. The overheads I'll send to 9 and 10. And if we look at the volume for the front left and right microphones and the center microphone, you'll see that Al has set them to minus 17 within his preset. Now, if it's good enough for Al, I'm sure it's going to be good enough for me. So I'm going to use the shift key and group them together and now I'm going to send them to output 11 and 12. There we go. He's also set up a reverb and a compressor on the output that's called Comp 670. That sounds suspiciously like a Fairchild to me. I'm going to turn both of these off because we can add any processing that we would like in Luna which you'll see in a minute. Now, returning back to the top left hand corner, I click the plus symbol and I know that I need five new tracks and I'll leave the name alone for the moment. Clicking on the more settings arrow, I can choose if I want to add extensions. I'll stick with my B tape slot, which is a Studer, and I'll also keep the API Vision channel strip. You'll notice that there's also a MIDI out selection. For Superior Drummer, we can leave this on all. However, if for instance you were using a virtual instrument like Contact and had multiple instruments on the same track, then this is where you can assign different MIDI outputs for each instrument. So again, no need to leave the window to set everything up. Right, I click Add, and now click Done. There we go. And this is my favourite part. I'll close Superior Drummer and now when we move to the mixer view in Luna you can see that all of the drums are lined up for me ready to go. I'll hit play. I'll now name the individual tracks which you can do either here in Luna or in the Superior Drummer window.
As you can see, when I open up Superior Drummer again, all of the track names and even the track colours are in sync with Luna. If you would like to export the individual drum files, I'll just toggle on the mix workflow. And now when I click on the mix down button, it will open up the mix down window. Over here, if I go to source and click on this arrow, you can see that I've already selected the individual drum tracks that Luna has automatically populated in the window. When I go back now, if I click mix down, the audio files will be exported into the folder that I've selected. There we go. Alternatively, if you would like to initially commit to the virtual instrument tracks and save on their processing, but also have the option to go back and make adjustments later, then you want to use the freeze track feature in Luna. In the mixer view, if I use the shift key and then select all of the drum tracks together, when I right click, it will bring up the option for me to freeze tracks. If I move over to the timeline view now, you can see that all of the drum tracks are still selected and if I click on the letter F just to the right hand side of the mute button, that will again freeze all the tracks for me. Just before I go, I've got one final Luna trick up my sleeve. I've already got some bass guitar and processing set up in an existing mix where I use printed drum audio. Watch this. If I click File and then drop down to Import Session, this will now bring up a window where I can choose a session to import from. If I now click on Import Session, the Import Session data window will open where I can customise what I would like to bring in. I'm sure there's a standalone video there, but just come with me on this one. I can't think of another DAW with a more elegant solution that's so easy to use. Can you? Let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, if you'd like to know more about how to achieve analog magic in Luna, then watch this next. I'm Matt from Distance Sun Studios. Cheers.